Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Jaws Unleashed. This is episode 13, and we're going to be doing more side missions, because there is a lot of them left, and only one real mission left. So we're going to start off with uh, Up a Creek, side mission 15, which is in this Grand Acostas Canals area, uh, which I guess only exists for this one side mission. So we're going to do something that uh, Great White can't really do. We're going to go into brackish water, it seems like, which is water that is a cross between fresh and salt water. Places where, you know, rivers run into the ocean and such. Which, uh, most sharks could not survive. Oh my god, look at this guy. He's, like, fused with that thing. He doesn't even have legs. He is, like, a cyborg whose legs have been replaced with jet ski. Which, you know, maybe not the worst way to live the rest of your life. But yeah, the only shark that could really uh, go from oceanic to brackish and freshwater is the bull shark, which is another requiem shark related to the great white, and one of the most notable sharks for shark attacks, along with the great white. Actually, the majority of sharks known for attacks on humans are requiem sharks. The great white, the bull shark, the tiger shark, and the oceanic white tip. Alright, so we're going upriver here. Somewhere around here is the side mission. I can't check the map because, you know, you don't have a map in these zones. This seems like the kind of place we'd run into alligators. And I believe if we look in the animal list thing, there is alligators or crocodiles. You know, for the longest time, I did not actually think that crocodiles existed in, in North America. But, uh, you know, I thought it was a thing where it's like alligators only, you know, crocodiles in places like Australia, Africa, South America. But no, there is one very small area of the U.S. that has crocodiles in addition to alligators. I'm not seeing a side mission marker anywhere. Just a bunch of Fords. Is it over here? No, that's a wall. I should be able to see, like, the Pillar of Light, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Unless I passed it. I totally passed it, didn't I, while I came in? God damn it. <laughs> well, you know, we take a nice little scenic tour around the river. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Kill three people and return to the buoy. Yeah, buoy. Get away! Alright, jet ski cyborg, it's your time. Alright, so we're doing, like, murder relays. Five people. Same amount of time, though. Unfortunately, that was not a murder throw. I don't even know how I killed her, she just sort of died. I hit the boat and landed on her, I guess? I should totally body bomb one of these tiny boats. It seems like if you throw them on shore, they just automatically die. Actually, getting back to the buoy isn't a problem because I've got so many speed upgrades. Alright, and 
Six people, really? Let's up the challenge even more with one more person. It's not even like we have to kill everybody here. There's more than six people in this area. We're just doing the Jaws lifeguard thing. We're saving all these people from drowning. Ooh, this one's... <laughs> exploded. I don't want to die! I think he's dead! I love that they just blow up into limbs when you do that. Be free! Well, that wasn't a very difficult mission, again. Such a disparity in the, like, difficulty climb of these things. Some of them are just really hard, like that cave one that I'm gonna have to do again. Alright, beat the challenge. Now, how do I leave this area? I don't see the, uh, the edge anywhere. Now it's all the way out here. This is like a TARDIS kind of area in that it is bigger inside than it is on the map. Because if we look at the map here, you can see it's just that tiny little area down there. Alright, so we got that one done. Let's see, what's nearby? We did 31. No, we didn't do 31. Uh, 27 is over there. And 16 is up there, so I think we'll do 27 and then swing around to 16. So I'm still sort of doing these in order. I don't ah! Oh. <laughs> Can I destroy a boat by throwing sharks at it? Shark Frenzy. Kill five sharks in 60 seconds. That sounds easy. That was a marlin, not a shark. See, sharks are so much easier to kill than people in this. Just grab them and give them a good shake. Especially because there's like 30 of them in this one area for some reason. Alright, kills seven sharks. Ooh, tricky, tricky. Cue the SS Tricky theme song. Sorry, SSX Tricky. It's not the same without the X. For extreme snowboarding. See, like, this one is, like, side challenge 27. It's really high up there in the numbers. And it's just as easy as the last one we did, which was 16. Or 15, maybe. These sharks also aren't even attacking us. They're just doing their own thing, and we're like, yep, gonna rip you in half. Rip and tear! They're not huge, though, so they wouldn't have huge guts. You're small, so you must have small guts. I wonder if there's a faster way to do this. I headbutted that shark, but it just stunned him. Oh, now they're fighting back. I'll have you know I have over 1,500 confirmed shark kills. Alright, so now we gotta go down to the southern area, past Seal Island, and into South Beach Cove. We're also gonna have to do that refight with the killer whale at some point in the aquarium. At least I assume that's what it is. So here it is. Uh, what's uh, 91,000 points? Let's spend some of these. 40,000, 20,000, 80,000. Let's do that first. 
I always like to get the most expensive skill first. So now we just need accuracy and hunger, and then I'll be maxed out. It's a pretty big health bar. Wait, that's not it, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Back to the barrel throwing zone, I think that was this mission. Yeah, this is the one where he interrupted a party and then they threw barrels at us. Alright, so the fences are still down. <laughs> Throw the swimmers at citizens or tents. Successfully hitting one within 30 seconds. Alright, so this is going to be a pain in the ass because obviously the throwing in this is not very accurate. As we saw with the throwing barrels at a house mission. Oh, we exploded right in front of it. You fucking non aerodynamic fuck. Yeah. Alright. Three within 60 seconds. Oh, he went to space. Like, sometimes you throw them and they go underwater, they don't even get out. I'm not even charging up my throw either, that's just like the regular throw. No, don't shake him. If I turn too quickly when I have someone in my mouth, he just does the shake and let's go with him. Alright. I ran out of people anyway. I only had that one guy left. One. Oh, come on. Right between them. I can't target the tents either. This is just as frustrating as throwing barrels, because again, there's no way to do this better. Sometimes it throws them 100 feet, sometimes they go into the water instead of even, you know, going up. Sometimes they don't go far enough. What? I'm pretty sure I just hit a random per- Oh, it did say hit a person or a tank. <sighs> well, at least the other two challenges I did were easy. Oh, I can't grab these people and use- oh, maybe I can. <sighs> nope, because they're not swimmers. I've got to get out of here. Hooray. Well, at least we have more time this time. So I think six means we have to use all of these people without missing. That's not happening. Where is it? Where is it? Make it. Get away! Ah! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! No, god damn it. Ah, this game does not need contextual controls like that. So 
So, what happens when I run out of swimmers? Get away. Is this gonna make me wait until the time runs out or they respawn? Ah, yeah, boy. I don't think that will restart me from the challenge. Ah, what a well-designed idea. Oh good, I can just leave the area. So, I'm pretty sure I can't miss with any of these people, which is gonna make this real shitty. Also means I can't accidentally kill any of them before I even throw them. There is it. This would be a great way to cheese this until I die of suffocation. It's like sometimes it's so easy to get back in the water, and sometimes you just flop around. No, don't do that. Fucking stupid shark. Did he die? There is it. There is it. There is it. Okay, I can't afford to jump on the beach with this guy, so I just gotta hope he gets in there. Oh shit. Come on. Come on, you fat fuck. <sighs> he didn't go far enough. So this method works, but it's kind of slow. I don't need to go as far up on the beach as I have been, though. And that's a failure. More than 10 seconds to throw each of these people. Oh my god. I hate when they get stuck in the ground like that. Alright. I don't even know what happened to that guy. I think he just died instantly when I tried to grab him. And he died. It's great when a side mission doesn't give you any leeway. <sighs> Alright, two left and 50 seconds. Shouldn't be that hard. Gently turn around so as not to shred him. <laughs> Get right up on that tent. Also, the damage to the tent seems to be carried over. Oh god, I'm gonna fucking drown. Seems to be carried over every time you redo this, so I imagine eventually there's just no tents left. Ugh. Oh, and then they just go back to normal. Well, that was uh, shitty, but manageable. Oh, come on, you fat fuck, don't die on me. And that's all we needed from this area. I would like to squeeze another mission into this video, just because there's so many of them left. Let's see, how many do we have left? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's 11 left, so that, if I'm doing 3 per episode, 
It's going to take a couple episodes. But I've also been told that I should probably keep these short to maintain people's very limited attention spans. So I guess if people prefer more shorter videos, then that's what they'll get. It's certainly faster to render and upload these if they're shorter. Alright, so uh, I haven't shaped fire. This is episode 13 of Let's Play Jaws Unleashed, Lucky 13. And we'll continue next time. I guess I'll just keep doing side missions. I don't know, maybe we'll do one more video of a couple side missions, and then we'll actually do the last mission, and then after that just kind of knock out the rest of them. But until then, I'm Shadefire, this is Joe's Unleashed, and I will see you all again next time with some more senseless murder and tossing of human corpses. Take care, folks. <laughs>